Hello and welcome to Funk. Today is Wednesday, September 8th, 2021. I'm Dan. And I'm Isabella. In today's news, as schools across the U.S. are continuing to open, the number of children testing positive for COVID-19 rises. The American Academy of Pediatrics stated that children now make up more than a quarter of weekly positive tests. Despite this rise, however, the AAP still asserts that the number of severe illnesses in these cases are low. The weather for today is a high of 87 and a low of 69 with scattered thunderstorms in the evening. This month is International Women's Friendship Month and to celebrate, Kappa Delta will be providing letter writing goods at a tabling event this afternoon from 11.45 to 1.30 on the Trone patio. Students are encouraged to stop by and write a letter to women deans, professors, and or advisors on campus thanking them for their hard work and wishing them a happy International Women's Friendship Month. Looking for a way to cool off this weekend? Then come join Delta Gamma for their annual Anchor Splash fundraiser on Friday, September 10th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. on the E-Field. Tickets for the event are only $5 and allow you to enjoy numerous carnival games, water slides, and inflatables. All proceeds benefit the Delta Gamma Foundation and the South Carolina School for the Deaf and Blind. The Furman Humanities Center and the Shy Institute have partnered together for a CLP titled Researching Rivers. This CLP will showcase board members of the Friends of the Reedy River and Furman faculty working on rivers to feature different river research approaches, challenges, findings, etc., while at the same time putting into dialogue the valuable and varied insights Furman faculty are cultivating around rivers, riverways, even river cultures, both human and non-human. The lecture will take place tomorrow in Patrick Lecture Hall starting at 6 p.m. With the upcoming 20th anniversary of 9-11, Furman's Military Science ROTC will be hosting a CLP entitled 9-11, 20-Year Anniversary Reflections. Furman military alumni from the classes of 2001 and 2002 will come together to discuss their experience on 9-11 and how Furman prepared them for their careers after graduation. This CLP will take place tomorrow evening at Shaw Hall starting at 6.30 p.m. Ever wonder why there isn't a universal Furman app that has everything you need in one place? Now there is. Download the Furman Now app on iOS or Android to have everything Furman all in one hub. From DH hours and menus to safe ride trackers to CLP and athletic calendars, the app is a perfect complement to Funk for keeping up to date with everything Furman. And that's all we have for today, Paladins. Make sure to subscribe to us on YouTube to keep up to date with everything that's happening on campus and to watch all of our previous episodes. You can email us at funk at furman.edu to submit news or announcements. And as a friendly reminder, the new home for all Furman Media is now at www.thepaladin.news, where you can find a whole host of articles, videos, and podcasts. Be sure to tune in again on Friday for our next episode.